everyone, this is uh, Tim with This Old Arcade. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Um, here we have uh, a Cruisin' USA that we're converting over to uh, a flat screen. Um, I've added this, it's a GBS 8200 uh, VGA converter. Uh, it's version 4.0. Uh, we got this from Holland Computers. Um, well, you notice the, uh, the picture here looks pretty awful. The colors are washed out. Uh, the background here should be black, but it's kind of a pink. Um, this particular converter, um, at the 25 kilohertz medium res mode, seems to have, uh, at least off the shelf, it has trouble uh, holding the color levels down. So um, I'm going to show you how to adjust the uh, clamp settings. Um, I don't know if you've seen them. It's in the uh, it's in the geometry part of the menu. Go here. Here's our geometry. Go down. You have clamp ST and clamp SP. Um, these numbers from the factory come 90 and 95, which seems to work fine on uh, the 15.7 kilohertz uh, low res mode. But when you get to this medium, this happens here. So um, what I'm going to do is reset the power, not on the game, but on the converter board and show you how the colors are immediately corrected and the black levels are, are fine. So let's reset the power here. Okay. We're back on here. And then there. Now you have all your corrected colors. Uh, the black level's good. But if we do um, a time lapse here, you'll see just very quickly how um, uh, the blacks start to turn red and then pink. See, now it's black. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and let this time lapse for a little bit and then uh, show you just, it's probably a matter of five to ten minutes. It'll be as bad as when you initially saw it. All right, so um, there you go. Uh, we'll go into the menu here, and uh, we'll go to our geometry. We'll go to the clamp ST, raise. You can go down or up on this menu. I'm gonna go up to about a, a four. I'll go to clamp SP. I'm just going to put that up at about a 5. The SP has to be higher than the ST. I have no idea what ST or SP stands for. I'd love to find out. Um, but when you get this in here, the blacks will stay black. The colors stay the same level. Um, and we'll do another little time lapse here and kind of show you that the colors hold, that it stays uh, steady. Um, and then um, yeah, let, let's do a little time lapse here.
All right, there you go. So did another little time lapse. You can see the blacks are still black. The color levels are still good. So um, hopefully that uh, helps somebody trying to hook one of these converter boards up on a medium res game. Uh, I know there's other issues with um, uh, vertical scan rates and getting things to, to sync, but we'll, uh, we'll deal with that on another video. So um, anyhow, uh, that, that looks good, and uh, that's what um, uh, clamp settings are for. I'll um, try to set up a demonstration to kind of show you on a uh, waveform monitor vector scope. Um, what these different color levels look like as they increase and decrease. All right, so to finish up our video, I've set up one of our production cameras and one of our racks here to try to simulate and show to you what uh, that converter board does in the video coming out of the game board through the converter board uh, and to the a flat screen monitor uh, to try to kind of demonstrate what the uh, what the factory setting clamp settings do. Okay, so um, we've got the uh, output from our camera hooked to this monitor here, and then this is our output monitor here. Uh, we've got. Uh, couple of NTSC scopes, waveform monitor, vector scope. Uh, we've got a frame synchronizer here <clears throat> where we're EQing the video that goes into our switcher. So um, basically what's happening on our converter board is we're at, let's say, this level on our input. Um, the uh, computer chip uh, kind of loses its reference from the input video and it starts to just creep up the color and the video levels until it gets all blown out like this here. And then uh, when you reset the power it kind of does a digital reset and it brings everything back to back to normal off phase there. So to kind of better demonstrate what happens when those levels rise, I'm going to put up some uh, NTSC bars from our camera here. And here's our bars. Turn my, my chroma down. All right, so uh, this scope here kind of refers, uh, it lets us know if our, our colors are in the correct phase. I can switch that phase and rotate these colors. You see in our color bars, it, they change colors where it doesn't match our, our true input here. We don't have to worry about that on our converter board. Uh, if I raise up my, my video level, you can see our output on our video creeps up and rises. And as that's happening, everything on your scope is blowing out of proportion here. We get the chrome blown out. And it uh, becomes an unrecognizable waveform on our scopes. So, um, if we're using those uh, clamp settings, the converter board is able to maintain uh, these proper waveforms uh, for our video. So, anyhow, that's a very, uh, very simple explanation, and kind of, kind of hope that. Uh, helps everyone understand basically what's happening. So uh, for this old arcade, I'm Tim. Uh, thanks for joining us.